Hey guys, it's Landon Blake from Redefine Horizons, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up another one of our base drawing types. This is the anno drawing or annotation drawing, so it's got all our symbols and texts, basically all of our objects that are scale dependent. And uh, this is going to kind of build on the other uh, couple videos I did about how to do the line work, the uh, boundary line work base drawing. So we've got two types of base drawings: we got line work drawings and anno drawings. We did the line work drawing. Now we're going to do the anno drawing. And I've just I got a little uh, task here in Basecamp so I can show you what that's going to involve. So we're going to add our bearing and distance labels, then we're going to add our crow's feet, then we're going to add our monument symbols and our monument labels. We're going to label our search found nothing areas. We're going to add uh, line tags and line references to the line labels. And then we're going to add notes for any controlling calls on the boundary lines. And, and you guys will see how this works. Uh, see how this works in a few minutes. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So I've created a, a boundary anno drawing from our template with the date, just says uh, today's date, boundary anno working. And uh, what we want to do first is we want to um, xref in our boundary, um, we want to xref in our boundary base drawing. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a layer to put our xref on. And uh, that xref isn't going to be permanent, but it's just good housekeeping. So I'm going to call this xref boundary line work. And I like to make that some color other than white. I usually do a color down here in this bar, so we'll go with blue. Okay, make that current. Let's go ahead and insert our line work drawing that we made in our previous video. Okay, so here is our uh, line work. Now that we have, I'm going to just get rid of this debut twist real quick. And you'll notice uh, I added some easement line work in there. I didn't want you guys to have to watch that. So uh, now we're ready to do our, uh, our basic annotations. Okay, and like I said before in the previous video, you got to know what your annotation scale is what your scale is of your sheet or your work product. So in this case, mine's going to be 1 to 300. Okay, so uh, that's what I'm going to do my annotations for. So let's go ahead and add that down here. So if you don't have it in your list, you need to add it. Just go to custom. We're going to add a scale. 1 inch equals 300 feet. And we need to do this because we're running AutoCAD Civil 3D and we're going to be using the automated uh, line labels. And we want it to be equal to 300 drawing units. Okay, so now I can pick that annotation scale and the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and add our labels so we're going to come up here to lines and curves on the menu add lines and curves we're going to click this to pull up the dialog and the first thing we're going to do is our bearings and distances and I like to start with everything on level one so we have stackable bearing and distance labels but we're going to start on level one so we're going to come up here bearing and distance level one and uh, we're going to go ahead and I'm sorry set, set this to multiple I like multiple because it puts it at the midpoint. If you click single, it puts it wherever you want. And I always try and do the midpoint first. So midpoint, bearing and distance level one. Okay, so then we're going to go in and we're going to add our labels. Okay. And uh, you can see I'm labeling each segment. Okay, and I'm going to select those because I don't want them on layer zero. I actually want them on. I'm going to put them on my. Whoop. So we want them on boundary text line labels. Okay, now we're also going to. Uh, I'm going to go ahead, since I know I'm going to want them, I'm going to label some. Well, let's do our crow's feet next. So we'll go ahead and do our crow's feet, our level one crow's feet. I like crow's feet. We also have stackable crow's feet. So I'm going to go ahead and add my crow's feet. Okay. 
Okay, again, I'm going to just select these and get them on the right layer. We put those on the same layer. Uh, you could probably separate them if you wanted to, but we don't. Okay, now I know I'm going to want some overall overall distances, so that's when we use level 2. So I'm going to do uh, bearing and distance level 2, and you can see how these will... Now the problem with that is we don't have the overall lines in, so so let me show you how you fix that. This is a little... This is a, a super sneaky trick. Um, we have a layer, I'm trying to remember what it's called. I need to check our spreadsheet, but I think it's called survey boundary lines overall okay which is not plottable and I'm gonna make it red and so this is a, a line that we can use to do our overall labels uh, our overall distance labels but we don't want it to plot so we just we're just gonna draw to get the, the at the label so I'm gonna go ahead and draw my overall lengths here And uh, if you're watching this video and you're a CAD guru and you've got a better way to do this, you're welcome to hit me up. Okay, now I'm going to select those lines because I didn't have my current layer set properly. Sorry, guys. And we will put that on our... You got to remember that won't plot, right? So now we can go in and add our level two bearing and distance labels, which is going to stack nicely. Okay, and I'll just grab those and we'll get them on the right layer. And I need to fix up my template so that we don't have to keep doing this. Okay, and then we're also going to add our overall crow's feet because we get crow's feet that stack too. I know this is so awesome, right? This is why you guys need to work here. So then we'll add our crow's feet. Boom, boom for our overalls. Boom, boom. Okay, we'll select those. Get them on the right layer. I guess if we were a really awesome place to work for, I'd have these layers fixed. Okay. All right. Oh, I got to do these two. Oh, those are that's a style deal. I got to fix that. All right. So, we got our bearings and distances on here and we got our labels on here, okay? So, if we go back to base camp, we've completed these first two things. Then we got to add our monument symbols and our uh, monument labels. Uh, but I'm almost out of time, so let me just show you how to do that real quick. I'm not going to do all of them. I'm just going to do do the first one. Okay, so here's our found monument block, and uh, but we need to scale that up by 300 because we're at a 300 scale. Nope, I was wrong. She scaled up by 30. Okay, so there's my symbol. And wherever I have a monument, I'm going to drop that in. All right, so I know I have a monument there. Um, and then we'll add our, our labels for our found mons. So I like to do that with a multi-leader. Okay. And I do my labels a very specific way. So uh, I always give them a number, which is, so this is M514, I think. And then I describe what we found. So we found 3 quarter inch outside diameter iron pipe. with yellow plastic cap stamped LS8817 okay, and I'm going to break 
take that again. Okay, and then we want to set this at the right scale. 300 and make our text height the right and our landing distance the right size. And let's check our arrowhead height. Our arrowhead size looks good. Okay, and then I want to get this on the right layer as well. Okay, survey text. Okay, so now we've got a monument symbol and a monument note. Uh, so we're cooking with fire here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and save this, and then uh, we'll open it again, and we'll get this, uh, we'll get it cleaned up. Do some more cleanup work on the rest of that list. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate.